Hey guys, welcome to the inner recesses of my mind. Today we're going to be starting something a little different. I'm going to be playing Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne Remastered. I've heard a lot of good things about this game when I was younger, but I never played it. I wasn't... Back then, JRPGs were kind of not my jam at first. But the older I got, the older I became fond of them and fell in love with them. So, today we're going to be playing a little bit of Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. The graphics are not that bad. They look like PS2 and Xbox original era, which makes sense because that's where they came from. Going to be playing on normal. But yeah, Shin Megami Tensei is a huge series. Hold on. A world that loses its power will fade into nothing. If such is the fate of this world, then I shall return it to its mother's womb. That's very ominous. Usually when you say something like that, at least something else even sinister. The world must first die for it to be born again. What did I just say? This is the path to salvation, as foretold in an ancient prophecy. You're going to be hearing prophecies a lot. I suggest you do not play the drinking game to this, I swear. The world will fall for its sins, and everyone living will vanish. But I won't let you meet the same fate. I want to help you hold on to your life. To do so, I need to know your name. Will you tell me who you are? Hang on, the typing on this actually takes a little long, so be back. In a moment. There we go. Yes. But yeah, there's going to be times where you have to name a lot of the characters in here. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to. I want to keep a lot of the stuff as authentic as possible, except for my name, of course, because they kind of force you to. So yeah. That's right. No, I won't shed another tear. Not even at this world's end. Instead, I can invite you to the world that is to come. Now go ahead. Wake up. The time is here. Okay. So our story starts here. You received the message. You're late, Dwight. What's the big idea? You forgot we're visiting with Takahou today? Just get to Yayogi Park ASAP. Time's a wasted. It's from your classmate. Please enter their name. No! What'd I tell you? Anyway. Izumo. 
Real talk, I prefer more of a private counseling session. But this tea is a lot nicer when you're around. Alright, be sure to dress to impress. After all, you represent me by way of association. How about that slick jacket you brought the other day? The one with the demon spirits? Remember, you're just the mood maker. Don't get it twisted, okay? Okay. There we go. Let me guess, you're here for Yogi Park? Ever since the incident went down, it's been one looky-loo after another. No one's here for the train. As you can probably tell, I've had a lot of time on my hands. You've heard the news, right? No? I guess I ought to be... I guess I ought to inform you. There was a deadly riot at Yayogi Park yesterday. If you want the gory details, go check the giant screen in Shibuya. Well, at Shibuya. Long story short, a couple of folks lost their lives in that park. You could hear the sirens wailing all night long. Anyway, sorry to talk your ear off. Probably not something I should be doing on the job. <laughs> this is important. <laughs> But yeah, Shin Megami Tensei has been going on for years. I mean, it's actually what kind of started one of the other franchises that we all know and love, Persona. Do you want to leave the area? Yes. Shin Megami Tensei is actually what got me back into JRPGs. Also, this is how you're going to be traversing the map. So, you can talk to people, but let's just skip on ahead. Like I said, Shin Megami Tensei is just a large franchise that's had so many subsidi subsidiary games that have come out. Like I said, Persona started on the PlayStation with Shin Megami Tensei Persona. They remastered it for, well, remade it for the um, PSP. They did one, then two later on. I played Persona 3 Portable when it first came out, which is actually a really good remake. Hold on. A riot broke out yesterday at Yogi Park regarding the construction of a communication tower. The demonstration got out of hand, and there have been several deaths and injuries reported. Furthermore, Hikawa, the top executive of Cyber's Communications, remains missing. Now, for the latest in sports, we move over to Manaka. The news continues. Like I said, Persona 3 Portable was what actually got me back into RPGs. Oh, I need to... Can't go up that way. So I'm just going to skip on ahead up here. Yogi Park. Great. The entire park's closed off. Can't even let a guy in to snap a few photos? <sighs> Guess it's not my lucky day. <sighs> you need something, kid? What happened here? Well, here's what they said on TV. Panic erupts as a clash between corporate representatives and a civic organization ends in violent deaths. Pretty disturbing, right? Those who live on the fringe say it was a deeper struggle between two cults. Your cell phone's starting to ring. Uh, I think that's your phone going off. Hey, are you there? Finally, I got a hold of you. What's taking you so long? Please enter your classmate's name. I don't want to! Tachibana. Chiaki Tachibana. I could see if it was our other friend, but you're never late. You wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Where are you now? Yoyogi Park? Well, since you decided not to show, we had to leave without you. We're almost there now. So, yeah, would you mind coming straight to the hospital? You do know which hospital it is, right? Shinjuku Medical Center. Just go east from Shinjuku Station and keep going. You can't miss it. Hmm. I guess this works out. 
I was planning to ask our teacher for career advice, so I'll just go ahead of you. I'll be there ASAP. Keep in mind, I don't plan on staying too long. Okay, see you later. She hung up. Hold up. You're on your way to Shinjuku Medical Center? Hmm. That's also where I'm headed, oddly enough. Why don't you hang on to this? It's a copy of our upcoming issue. So, a little backstory. I've been actually trying to get this recorded for a while now, and every time when the first recordings were going on, I did not realize he had a satchel on his back. Well, side. I'm assuming you don't know what went down here. Then, you probably don't know what kind of place that hospital is either. Seriously, I was confused. Where did he pull that magazine from until I realized the satchel was there? The name's Hichiri. Author of the Ring of Gaia and the Scripture of Moroku. Might want to give that a read. You've obtained an issue of Akikashi Magazine, or monthly. Blah, 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 blah. Normally, you wouldn't associate a hospital with the occult. That hospital is anything but normal. Or so they say. There's a lot of misinformation floating around these days. If it turns out I'm wrong, just laugh it off, okay? Anyway, I'd better be going. Oh yeah, in the event we run into each other again, let me know how you liked my article. Alright, so need to go up this way. I could talk to the other people that are walking around, but, um, no. Shinjuku Medical Center. There's a note on the door. The entrance to the annex is closed. Please use the entrance to the main building. Hospital staff. That's not ominous at all. Alright. There we go. Shinchuku Medical Center. There's Tachibana. Well, hey, about time. Um, is it just me, or is something seriously off here? Hmm, there isn't anyone in sight. No nurses, no patients. That's actually very eerie. Look, even the reception desk is empty. Don't you think there's something weird about this place? Anyway, you know who is looking for a teacher right now. And big surprise, he's still gone. He'd better not be off goofing around. Oh. What's with that magazine? You want to read it? Knowing your taste, it probably wouldn't interest me. Ayakashi Monthly. Never heard of it before. What? It's an occult magazine? Why would you bring something like that here? <sighs> well, maybe it could help me kill some time. Anyway, can you go find that bonehead? If he can't find our teacher, then I don't want to be here another minute. You should be on the second floor, where the patients' rooms are. I'll be waiting down here. Oh, and leave the mag with me. Not like I really have much of a choice now, do I? Don't leave me hanging too long, okay? Now, normally... You can take the elevator at this point. It's right there, but for cutscene purposes, I want to go ahead and trigger it normally. So, taking the stairs. I have to admit, this game does load pretty quickly. I'm actually really impressed. This game had some other stuff to it. Hold on. Someone's on the other hallway. But yeah. 
This game actually doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's weird. All the proportions just seem eh. Dude, if somebody, everybody died off, then there would still be residue or bodies left here. Think before you open your mouth. I called our teacher to make sure this is it. She clearly told me. Shinjuku Medical Center. Something's up. They could have at least put up a notice or something so visitors aren't clueless. Maybe someone unleashed a deadly virus in here. I think you've got the wrong game, dude. Already checked out everywhere she might be. I'm running out of places to look. Think we should just call it? All right. I'm gonna head back down and check out how our other lady's doing. I bet she's all pissed because I've been gone so long. Yeah. Anyway, I really hope this isn't the shitstorm it's shaping up to be. If only you knew the half of it. He's the one that left the room. So shall I. I guess I luckily the elevator is over here, so I can just take that down. Okay, I would have took that down. I took the wrong floor. Wrong door. First floor. Probably not going to be doing too much this episode around, just doing all the talking beats. Oh, you're back. So, you know that special report at the beginning of the magazine? I wouldn't know. You took it before I could read it. Well, it says some things that are more than a little unsettling. <laughs> According to this, there's a group of demon worshippers who call themselves the Ring of Gaia. And they're right here in Japan. Apparently, they believe in this book of prophecy called the Scripture of Miroku. Told you, you're going to hear prophecy a lot. In that book, it says that chaos will engulf the world. And these people are trying to cause that somehow. Whether their idea of chaos means terrorism or something else entirely, the reporter couldn't figure that out. But get this. Oh, there we go. Good luck finding her. I even checked the men's room. Uh, didn't need to know that. We're in the middle of a conversation here, so save those details for later. Now, listen to this part. A hospital on the east side of Shinjuku is closely linked to the organization's sinister plan. Convenient. Let me guess. That ends with find out more in our next issue. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me if that article had some truth to it. I've heard some real spooky shit about this place. Like how they run deadly experiments on patients. Or how a psychic started shrieking and bolted out of here. And of course, there's a rumor that a cult's behind it all. Hmm. Another word you need to probably take a shot to if you hear cult. You're serious? I never knew any of that. Maybe we really shouldn't have come here. I you think? feel stupid for buying into some bizarre tabloid. But it does get one thing right. How creepy this hospital is. Mm hmm We really need to find her, don't we? Okay. We search this place top to bottom one last time. Nothing pops up. We assume nothing's wrong. And we split. By the way, looks like you can reach the annex from the second floor. I'll go take a look up there. 
Whereas you have the honor of searching the basement. Oh, and uh, you'll need this. Why am I the one going to the basement? You've obtained the ID card. That sounds like a really good idea, actually. Could it be you're too scared? Yes, he is. Come on, this is me we're talking about. That just answered my question. The only reason he's going is because I'm sure there's nothing down there. That's a quote. He just answered his own question. Look, all you need to do is confirm that our teacher isn't in the basement. Got it? After all, saving the day is my job. Should things take a turn for the worse, just run like hell, okay? I can't believe him sometimes. Anyway, let's focus on finding our teacher. No matter what, we have to make sure she's safe. Now that I've got the ID card, I'll just go ahead and take the elevator down to the basement. All of this has a lot of no. I mean, just this place just doesn't feel and blood stains. I did not notice that last time I did this. Insert your ID card. Use the ID card. Mm. All right. First door. Nope. 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 Mm. Okay, this room is relatively decent. What's this? The door is locked from the other side. Hmm. Probably a good idea not to go there anyway. You can hear eerie sounds coming from the room. Will you enter? It's kind of the only other room I haven't checked yet, so yeah. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, I love JRPGs. I love the stories. The gameplay is usually just simple turn-based depending on, depending on the traditional game. Hold on. Well-known poet once said, April is the cruelest month. Have you any inclination as to why? Because it is then one awakens from a long sleep and faces the barren world. Our history as a species is similarly barren, comprised of empty trivialities. The worthless overgrowth of a civilization blind to its sins. Continuous war and bloodshed. And thousands of years of repeating the same mistakes over and over again. The world needs to wipe its slate clean. The way to salvation was foretold in the scripture of Miroku. And today, that prophecy shall be fulfilled. Hmm. The old world will sink like a setting sun. And... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Now, how should I deal with you? From what I recall, you weren't among our followers who survived the purge at the park. Oh, you're her acquaintance. Come to think of it, this was a hospital, wasn't it? And you merely came to visit her. However, even a pebble creates ripples when cast in water. Don't trust you because of your outfit and the way you're talking. And while I 
do feel pity for you. Your life ends here. of this world will follow before long. Your time has just come a bit sooner. That's all. Face him. You fool. No one can overcome their fate. I'd like to beg to differ. One person go? What effect could he possibly have on our plan? However insignificant he is, I am not a man of exceptions. You know this. Fine. If you don't spare him, then consider our partnership over. Such a troublesome maiden. Well, I'll leave the teaching to the teacher. Please leave this room. I would like to enjoy this blissful end in solitude. Hmm. You don't have to tell me twice. We'll have a good view of the city from there. See it with your own eyes. Witness that which will change the world. All right. That's where I came in from, so. Oh, that's where I came a second ago. Someone is up ahead. No. What's wrong, my little master? Are you curious about that person over there? Oh, is that so? My, my. But right now, we have other matters to attend to. Let's do that afterward. Hmm. Okay, there you go. Um, both the old woman and the child disappeared. Not ominous at all. Get back upstairs. Go straight to the roof. So, here we are again. I'm glad I intervened when I did. I wouldn't want you to fall prey to a demon. You heard what Hikawa said, right? This world is about to be swallowed by chaos. It's called the Conception. The rebirth of the world. An event which no human has ever witnessed. Everyone outside of this hospital will perish. Hmm. I doubt anyone would approve of such a terrible thing. No, they wouldn't. But even if we did keep this old world alive, it would eventually lose all its power. The world must first die for it to be born again. And I alone will carry the burden of its sin. As for regrets, I have none. What matters is that fate reached out and led you here. Mm -hmm. And it is your fate to live through the conception. It may 
actually be more painful than death. Mm -hmm. But I believe in you. Please. Come find me when it's done. No matter how the world changes, I'll be your pillar of strength. It is my duty as the maiden to take part in shaping the new world. Meaning I can show you a better way to live. I know it must be difficult for you to understand. But we're out of time. Listen. If you can find me on your own, I promise to tell you everything. The answers to all your questions, and what my intentions really are. You guys seen Doctor Strange before, right? Doesn't this scene kind of remind you of the mirror scene in the mirror world? Except a little more freaky. Do not be afraid. My little master has taken an interest in you. Pitiful human though you are, he wishes to grant you a gift. Kind of gift. It is vital that you receive it, and I'm afraid you have no choice. Please try not to struggle. You get over it. it will only hurt for an instant. God. That sounds painful. 
That sounds painful. watching so please try not to bore him you have seen a magitama magitama could be ingested in the command menu kind of gives off a case uh, Jujutsu, um, Jujutsu Kaisen vibe. I can't talk. I've been at this for too long today. Shinjuku Medical Center. What are you staring at me for? Am I that peculiar? You're the demon here. Oh boy. You can hear something coming from inside that room. Who's there? <gasps> Wait. Aren't you that kid I met at the park? What in God's name happened to you? Not quite sure. I see. Well, at least you still think like a human. That aside, you know what the hell's going on here? If I did, we would not be talking right now. Last thing I remember, I was blinded by a bright light. After that, I was in this room. From the look of it, we're in some sort of hospital. Seeing as you're here too, I take it this is Shinjuku Medical Center? Mm hmm. Well, first things first, as much as I want to know what's going on out there, it's not exactly safe to walk around. Have you come across any of them yet? I see. You say, yeah. So I wasn't hallucinating or dreaming this up after all. Demons. This place is crawling with them. Never thought I'd actually live to see one. But damn, if my hunch is right, there's an actual explanation for all this. Though I'd rather not believe it. This is Shinjuku Medical Center. I can't just rule it out. The conception may have occurred for real. You know, I've seen a barrel like this before. If I remember right, it belonged to a man named Hikawa. He's gotta be behind this somehow. Just standing here talking won't do us any good. Listen, if you're strong enough to fight, could you gather some information while you're at it? I tried talking to what looked like a ghost, but I didn't have much luck. What's happened to the world? And is there anyone else out there? Good question. We can only find the answers by finding other people. I wish I could do it myself, but I doubt I'd last long against a demon. <laughs> Besides, I imagine studying this thing has its own merits. So for now, I leave it to you. Why does everybody keep leaving everything to me? I think this is a good place to stop. Have you ever just went to a place and all of your red flags just went off? Of your, it's like you're saying, all of mine now. Just nope, 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 no, no, no. That is one of those kind of places for me. Like I said earlier, I'm not exactly a fan of hospitals, but I'm not exactly in favor of them some days. But, yeah.
Long story short, I think the world just ended. So, where does that leave me? I might make this into a series, but I um, don't know exactly. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, I guess we'll try again episode two. If you like what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. Also, ring the notification bell so that way you'll be up to date on what I have planned and you'll always see when I have something new posted. But yeah, really do appreciate you taking a step into my mind, even just for a little bit. This is Nefarious. You have a good one.